All right, let's talk about this post-grad program in AI and machine learning from UT Austin, Hook'em Horns. And let's just right off the bat. I've always been a pretty big Longhorns fan, even long before I moved here to Austin, Texas, and may had a certain percentage of steering me towards picking them. But ultimately, a lot of it had to do with like the investments you see from programs like this in the University of Texas. Uh, big thing, the Texas Advanced Computing Center. It's something I've been aware of for a period of time. I work in tech. I work in high-performance compute architecture. And they're just doing crazy investments. They've got this Vista architecture with 600 H100 uh, GPUs from NVIDIA. And so it really piqued my interest, you know, despite really appreciating Longhorns football, baseball, and all their sports and just being a huge fan you know, you got to be more mature with these decisions of where you're going to go. MIT, UC Berkeley, a lot of people have these really great programs. But in this video, I just want to talk about what my experience at UT Austin's was specifically. And I think it met or exceeded my expectations. The first thing is, no, you're not going to be this PhD level data scientist or ML engineer coming out of it. It's pretty surface level. But the really cool thing and the program is they kind of allow you to go as deep as you want. There's a lot of optional information that's provided within the online portal. Uh, you do ultimately have projects that you do, which I'll go into here in a little bit, but I really enjoyed it. Now, I grew up with computers. My dad was a software engineer for Boeing, and I didn't go the computer science route. I have an undergraduate degree in biochemistry and a Juris Doctorate from St. Louis University, and I did patent law, but I was never someone that was formally educated in the space of computer science, which kind of is why I didn't go the online master's route, and I think it's incredibly interesting. First of all, I've been in school far too long. I'm 35 years old. I've got seven years of education already, and plus this 10 months that this program took. And so, you know, with the four years of undergrad, the three years of law school, I was like, do I really want to go for my master's? That was a decision I had to make. What were my intended outputs I wanted to do with this post-grad uh, program? And so, you know, I didn't want to be the person behind the desk doing all the onboard uh, or the on keyboard, hands on keyboard development of AI, which is incredibly fascinating. I like to be out front. I like to be solving business problems with all my background, whether it's in compliance, regulatory, law, and business with my vast experience. So I, I needed more of that next level understanding of what AI and machine learning is, not just when people are talking about, oh, you should be like this prompt engineer using ChatGPT or Anthropic's Claude. No, no, no. There's way more to it than that. There's all of these different projects, and I, I can put my GitHub repository if you want to see kind of what you would develop uh, as far as bank churn analysis using um, just machine learning, bagging and boosting, there's computer vision, and I went above and beyond. Like they, they just give you enough of the tools to understand how to develop. And if you have a background in software development, if you ever messed around with any sort of computer language, you learn the basic fundamentals, and then you can hit the forums, you can get some O'Reilly books, you can go as far down the rabbit hole as you want in any facet of AI and machine learning. If you wanna be a computer vision expert, then by all means go down that rabbit hole. And so you get kind of the starting point. And there's so many additional free resources out there, whether it's Harvard or CourseX and Coursera and a whole bunch of them, that you can just continually educate yourself. I, I just wanted to start, have a formal education of where to start in this space, and that's what it gave me. And just as an example of kind of a project, this is kind of the best practices, and even since I have finished quite a few months ago, or even when I was starting to learn the process while also continuing working in real time with real customers at my job, this is it, this is the business uh, best practices. What's the business context? What's the problem? What's the ultimate objective we're trying to achieve with this? And uh, a gentleman at work really condensed the whole talk track into what are we reducing, increasing, or optimizing as far as your business? Whereas in the past, you could probably use some other program or even a person to help with that process. 
Well, perhaps we can replace it with artificial intelligence or some sort of machine learning solution. And so you go through this Jupyter Notebook, you do all of the data overview, the model building, fine tuning, hyperparameter tuning, uh, everything, even creating your own models and then giving the actual insights because it's not enough like he hand this over. There's a whole bunch of stuff to be aware of as far as what are the benefits from using this? What are the recommendations? What do we need to do in the future? How do we keep an eye on this process? And I just think this whole program gave me an excellent starting point to do so. Now, if you want to be the person hands on keyboard, perhaps the actual masters of AI and UT Austin, I have no affiliation beyond just, again, being a huge fan of sports and really hoping that they win the national championship in the near future. Cause I've watched a lot of rough football over the years is the affordability $10,000 for a master's program is incredibly unheard of at least in anything that i've seen so they have that and then about a third of the cost is this postgrad now one piece of advice i always give people is the intent when you go back to school to me is because you want to add a skill set of something you're passionate about not for the sole intent that this is going to make me more money that was something they told people the first day of law school. If you came here because you think you're going to get rich, you're ultimately going to fail because this is a part-time program. I think a lot of individuals that are watching this video are working full-time, perhaps have families, other obligations. And if you really want to get the most out of this program, you got to dedicate the time to read all the additional material, understand it, continually educating yourself outside of the program. And like I spend anywhere from 60 to 90 minutes every morning, even prior to starting my job, knowing what the whole landscape is, because the stuff you're going to learn in this program or even the program version that I started out with is likely not to be the same one in a year, two years from now. And I you, you have to keep up. You got to keep your skills sharp. And that's a big key thing that I advise. The other thing people ask me about, I've never programmed before. Well, I personally have, but when people are like, I have never programmed before, is this going to be an issue? Now, the whole introductory piece of using Python, installing libraries, using a Jupyter notebook, the program did a fantastic job at that, really easing you into it. As much as you really want to jump into the really cool, sexy part of AIML, you really start with the basics. You get a good foundation, like a good cardio base if you're working out. You know, you don't really want to do it, but it's going to be good for you in the long term. And I think they've just really structured the program in a great way. Again, no affiliation. I'm not even going to put the link that I can get some sort of credits back for additional learning in the description. I'm sure that there's other programs out there like uh, this Quora does a fantastic job understanding ML aspects, data driven verification, tool development, keeping up with industry trends. But Coursera, edX, Udacity, uh, Stanford University, MIT Open Courseware has a bunch of free stuff. Um, I, I even believe the Deep Learning Institute has some great stuff. Where is that? Uh, DeepLearning.ai. They've got a great course. Just the whole experience, I guess, even if you were to kind of just make it agnostic of name or independent of who the academic institution is, is that a lot of these programs are evolving and becoming really great at getting people into this space. I personally think this is going to be a skill set, like the ability to create and leverage AI is going to be as essential to increasing your work productivity, your value as using an Excel workbook. That's how I look at it. And I have found tremendous ways to use this in my day to day, even though I am focused in AIML for my professional life, but even like the little reporting and stuff and the analysis I'm doing, like th this is a really cool one where I can take just generic reports, leverage a model like Meta's Llama and have it do a whole analysis, do JSON outputs for, for creating really structured reporting, categorizing things. So I, I think it's really, really cool how I can just be better at my job with all of the skill sets that I learned. So hope that helps. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments and I'll try to answer them if I can.